So thank you for joining me today. Let's talk about yes people. I was thinking about the Apostle Paul and how the Apostle Paul was not a yes person. So let's talk a little bit about the life of Paul in Acts 21. If For all the things that Paul went through, we know he couldn't have been a yes person because he would have just shut up. He would have not tried to preach the truth. He wouldn't have been worried about being arrested and all the things that they had done to him. So let's look here in Acts 21, verse 27. It says this, When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia, who had seen him in the crowd, stirred up the whole crowd. They seized him, shouting, Fellow Israelites, help. This is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against our people, our law, and this place. And more than that, he has actually brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. So let's go down to verse 30. Then all the city was aroused and the people rushed together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple and immediately the doors were shut. While they were trying to kill him, it goes on to say in verse 31, word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. So Paul is speaking the truth and they don't like it. So we see he gets arrested, they try to kill him. We've talked about the Apostle Paul before, but Paul definitely was not a yes man because had he been, he would not have been contending for the faith. So think about famous athletes, celebrity, anybody who has any sort of great amount of wealth. And oftentimes, what do they have around them? There's marital issues, there's drug issues, there's all kinds of things typically in those sort of in, in those sorts of areas in that environment where everybody around you is a yes person. So if you're a famous singer and you've got a drug problem, everybody around you, they all just say it's okay. Sometimes they end up dead very early. Nobody seems to say, hey, you know, that's probably not a good idea that you do crack or that's not a good idea that you cheat on your spouse. And so many times you see famous people with a lot of issues that perhaps us regular folks don't have. Everybody that's around them either is a yes person because they like the prestige that they get from being associated with this person or the money is really good. And so everybody around these famous people are yes people. Whatever you want, it's okay. Whatever you want to do, it's okay. And they're surrounded by yes people. I don't want any of us to be a yes person. I want us to contend and stand for the truth, whatever it is that God says in his word. Because I promise you this, the, as the world gets darker, the harder it is going to be to stand and to take a stand and to say, no, I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go along with that. No, I don't think that's okay. So we know the Apostle Paul could not have been a person who just agreed to everything because they wouldn't have been trying to kill him. They wouldn't have arrested him. And you know the multiple things that went on with him in his life. So he definitely was not a yes person. And you don't want people around you that are yes people that just say yes to everything that you do or that you say. Because who is there going to be to correct you if everybody around you is a yes person. And so this is kind of flagrant everywhere in every um, job, it seems, in every location, every place. It seems that many companies, you know, if you have a, a boss and maybe they're doing something and, you know, maybe you don't think it's a good idea, but everybody around you says it's a good idea. And you're thinking, am I the only one? This is a terrible idea. Or maybe you've got that, you know, sibling that has got drug issues and the rest of the family is looking the other way and you're like, I don't think this is such a great idea. This person could die. You don't wanna be that yes person to just come into agreement with everything because it's easier. So as the Apostle Paul is the example of a person who was literally tortured for the kingdom and yet he continued to preach. He was arrested. You know the stories of his life. Paul was not a yes person, and I want for us not to be yes people and to have people in our lives who can steer us, who can correct us, who can lead us on the right path. 
We are out of time. Armor up. We ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.